Hey, it's Ten. Welcome, whether you are new or returning to my channel. And I'm so sorry if I'm so hungry ngayon, because <laughs> I just finished my classes here in Lingo Star, and medyo pagod na nga ako. But I decided to make a video first bago ako matulog. So for this video, I'm going to share to you how I put or yeah, how I set effects in my classes here in Lingo Star as a request from Nicole Rica Hermoso. But you know what? I think there are lots of videos already about this one. Kung paano sila mag set ng effects, kung paano nila pagandahin yung setup nila sa online classes nila. But let me share my part. Like most of the ESL teachers, gumamit rin ako ng third party application which is Manicam. Hindi po ito naka pro at hindi rin po ito ang new version. In fact, this is an old version. Ito yung ginamit ko nung nag-work pa ako sa 5 on top at hanggang ngayon, ito pa rin yung ginagamit ko sa LingoStar. If you want to install a Minicam like this where you can access more frames at mawala yung Minicam watermark, may video tutorials naman po kung paano. Maybe you can work on that first if you don't have yet a Minicam. I wanted to provide a source or yung mismo video tutorial sa Facebook na nakita ko. Unfortunately, hindi ko na siya mahanap. Before, I believe in third-party applications because I thought that it would only result to technical issues. But then I realized na hindi naman pala. Mas better pala. So the first thing I want to show you is how I added a personalized border as my background. Instead of printing a tarpaulin or making your own tarpapel for your background, I think it's better to make your own border. Noon, ito yung ginagawa ko. And based on my perspective, medyo dull siya tingnan as what you can see here in the screen right now. Kaya sabi ko, mas better talaga if white background yung ginagamit. So what I did, tinapon ko yung tarpapel na ginawa ko as my background. And I decided to make my own border when I realized na pwede mo pa lang i-personalize yung borders mo sa Manicamp. Here is how you do it. First, pumunta ako ng Canva. Canva Pro pala tong gamit ko but you can actually make your own border using a free account. Then, click create a design and customize size. Yung size naman na ginawa ko is 1280 by 720 pixels. Since yung progressive scanning na gusto ko is 720. It really depends on you but I think this size is more appropriate. Tapos ng design lang ako, I add the LingoStar logo, then I also include my teacher's name. So as much as possible, hindi ako nag-include ng design sa gitna kasi dyan yung mukha ko. And I also did not put any more colored background. Like plain white lang talaga siya. At nag-add lang ako ng mga small details or elements. In this way, mas madali yung pagtanggal ng white background. Dito sa Canva Pro pala, you can actually download a picture with a transparent background. But I don't know if meron ito sa Canva free account. Pero you can remove naman the background using other tools like remove.bg. So, if tapos ka na, download mo lang to. And again, ang ginawa ko is I downloaded it with a transparent background para mawala itong plain white background. Tapos, punta ka lang dito sa website na to where you can find a guide on how to create your own elements on Minicam. Click mo itong naka-highlight na phrase that says Effects section on our website. Let me just put the link below on the description. Now that you're here, you can start setting up the effects name, category at subcategory. Since we're making a border, choose full screen effects at borders. Tapos, upload mo lang yung picture na ginawa mo at pwede mo na siyang i-download pagkatapos mag-load. Now, our Minicam effects is done, so let's try it. Punta ka sa Minicam application and just click the plus icon next to the magnifying glass icon and add the effect. And you're done! May customize ka na na border. Kaya teachers, if you have already a white background like this, it's better if gagawa na lang kayo na sarili niyong borders kesa mag virtual background kayo. If you don't have a solid white background, 
then you're left with two options. It's either you uh, make a tarpaulin out of your design or magset kayo ng virtual background sa Lingo Star application. Yes, you can actually add a virtual background sa Lingo Star application nyo. Pero hindi ko siya pinili kasi ang pangit ng quality niya sa akin. Magiging ganito siya. So, if I do a comparison, mas maganda talaga sa akin if borders na lang ang gagamitin. But, it's really up to you. If maganda naman yung effect or kalabasan ng virtual background sa inyo, then you can do that. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-convert pa ng Minicam effect. I-add mo na lang yung ang ginawa mong design sa Lingo Star application at dun mo isaset yung background mo. But in my case talaga, or no, uh, in my perspective, mas better yung borders, mas less yung risk na maglag yung computers nyo. Now, another effect that I'm going to show to you is yung face accessories, which is bentang-benta talaga ito sa mga kids. You can add more effects if you click Get More dito sa Manicam app. Tapos, you will be directed to their website where you can download free effects. So, search ka lang na effect na gusto mo. And by the way, you don't have to log in in order to download the effects for Manicam. So, say for example, I want a bear mask. So, ang gagawin ko lang dito is isearch ko yung bear mask at click download. Tapos, balik tayo sa Manicam app, click the plus icon, then add the new effect that you downloaded. At tapos ka na. Pwede mo na siyang i-try. So, marami pa talaga mga effects dito sa Manicam like distortions, objects, at emoticons. Mag-explore ka na lang. When it comes to rewards naman, um, aside from uh, giving out stars, foods, or any tangible rewards, gumagamit rin ako ng GIFs. So, heto yung mga na-download ko na GIFs. Meron siyang victory clap, thumbs up, at marami pang iba. Bentang-benta din ito sa mga kids ko. So, I use GIFs for my examples din. Like, if yung material includes the topic about different parts of the bodies, including yung legs, I can easily show them kung ano talaga yung legs. For my example, legs ni Spongebob Squarepants yung ginamit ko. Hindi ako gumamit ng image ng totoong legs ng tao kasi medyo malaswa yung ibang na-search ko na GIFs internet. And masaya naman yung mga kids. Alam nila kung sino si Spongebob. <laughs> so, how do you download GIFs? Uh, Mag-search ka lang. Parang na-download ka lang ng pictures. So, yun lang po. That is how I set uh, effects for my classes using Manicam. You know what, teachers? Marami pong mas better kaysa rito sa so, ipinakita ko sa inyo. Especially if naka Manicam Pro ka. So, nasa inyo na yan if you want to upgrade. But if you want this one, if okay na kayo dito sa na-share ko sa inyo, then you can also do that. There is a downside though, especially when it comes to your regular students. Kasi, Palagi nilang nakikita na paulit-ulit yung GIFs eh. Yung thumbs up, yung three stars, mga ganun. So, paulit-ulit siya kaya uh, magiging boring din siya. So, what I did is invest rin ako ng mga uh, toys, mga tangible rewards. Meron talaga mga teaching materials na talagang bentang-benta sa mga kids. So, I have a YouTube short about it. If gusto rin nyo matry para mas engaging yung classes nyo, then you can do that. So, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your classes, teachers.